Hi, everybody, and welcome to Six Minute Saturday. I'm Tina Powell of C Suite Social Media, and today we're going to be talking about Instagram for business. Love it. This is a really wonderful episode of Six Minute Saturday. So, for, thanks for subscribing and thanks for taking time to watch this video. Uh, let's get in it. The timer's been set six minutes, so here we go. I'm going to share my screen and can't wait to talk to you all about Instagram because is it a platform that I don't see utilized the way it should for business? Okay, so you heard it here first. Instagram for business, why do we love it? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. We love it because it's a platform, a social media network that people come to be inspired and discover things that they care about. Those things might be their pets, it might be things related to home decorating, food, fitness, you name it, celebrities, everybody's on Instagram and it is a great platform. Also, that includes companies and brands that people absolutely love. And these brands are really fun uh, to explore, travel sites, news media, um, and even athletic brands that you follow. So the best way for you to get a feel for Instagram is to have your account and to start following brands that you love. Another great reason, and we actually have three great reasons, three great numbers that you should know about Instagram. Number one is there's 25 million businesses on Instagram worldwide. That's a lot. Number two is that there's two million advertisers on business on Instagram. And you've heard it, you've heard it here before that we've talked about Facebook ads. And the ability of Facebook ads is, is because Facebook owns Instagram, the ads platform plugs directly in Instagram. So you can show your ads not only on Facebook, but you can on Instagram. Why is that important too? Well, because there's over 200 million uh, Instagrammers that are visiting at least one business profile a day. So Instagram, you've all heard it, but many of you have been on the sidelines. Now is the time if you have a business to jump right into Instagram. So here's an example. Let's talk a little bit about what's needed if you want to explore Instagram for your business, for your firm. Um, well, it's free. It is free, ladies and gentlemen, but there's three pieces of information that you need. Number one is you need a phone number. Number two, physical address, and number three, email. Once you have that, you are ready to rock and roll. And you could even, too, map your Facebook business page to your Instagram account. Right now, you're looking at um, these, these uh, pictures right now are part of uh, Instagram pro profile. Follow them here, Beacon Wealth. Uh, they are a client of C-Suite Social Media. And the reason why I bring them to the forefront is because in financial services, especially if you're a planning firm, how do you tell a visual story about what you do and why you do it? And so I urge you to take a look at Beacon Wealth's Instagram page and see the types of information that we've shared. So one was directly related to uh, a, an event uh, here's Mark Germain, CEO of their firm, talking uh, in, for their Beacon Breakfast series. We've got a page out of the newspaper. We've got a delicious white, <laughs> white cheese pizza on, the, uh, on team building day. And then here's another um, picture right here in the upper left quadrant. That is where uh, TD Ameritrade, that was from a recent conference. So again, the best way for you to become familiar about Instagram is to take a look at the platform yourself and start to follow brands, people within your industry, people within your vertical, and see how they're telling their story. The other thing that I want to point out on Instagram is that once you do have a business account, it's really super easy for people to look you up and to contact you directly from Instagram. So I'm here again on Beacon's page, on Beacon's Instagram page, and it says call, email, or directions. So you're giving the people who want to get in touch with you a great vehicle to actually do that seamlessly and easily. Another reason why we love Instagram for our clients is because it is so visual. Again, the best way to communicate what you do, why you do it, who you do it for is through pictures. Pictures are, um, I think it says something like uh, the stats are, you, you remember uh, retention is 80% more 
don't mark my don't mark me on that but 80 don't quote me on that 80 percent is i think um uh enhanced retention on that okay mobile and portability this is also too an important feature knowing that everybody's on mobile phones that the mobile and portability feature actually bringing it with you is something that's really important for brands especially and like i just showed a great way for people to connect with you connect it to facebook instagram once you have the business profile you can connect it to your facebook account and so that's great. So the people who are already following you and connected to your business page, once you make that connection on Instagram, it becomes a real ease uh, of transition for them to follow you on there as well. So you get two platforms in one almost. And then fun with stories. One of the great features of Instagram, if you know it and you're an Instagrammer like me, is stories. And that's at the very top of the screen. And stories are basically. Um, it's the Snapchat-ish feature that's at 24 hours at the top and they're just quickly rotating stories. Um, little snippets of information that obviously are visual and they can even have sound as well too and some effects. Really cool if you're an Instagram or you know what stories are already, but now they brought stories to business, which is another reason why you need to be on Instagram for your business. And the last is community. The Instagram community is very, very engaged. I find that they comment a little bit more often. They even like things a little bit more often. And if they love something that you post, they're gonna they're 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 gonna engage. So it, it's a great way to engage with the community and the people who care about you and the people who are already connected to your brand. So that's it. Uh, six minutes is up. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And let me just shut this off. Have a great weekend. And if you want to get on our mailing list, do me a favor and text the word Tina to 444-999. And we'll make sure that you get on the mailing list. So again, Instagram for business, check it out. And if you need to ask me any questions, um, do so on Instagram. You can find me at Tina C. Powell. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.